hello, hello, hello. How lovely, what a lovely space this is. Who, who, uh, who came, who was at the Baba Bar when I had it at the printers? Did people, yeah. oh, and look at this, how groovy is this? This is, are you comfortable in those lovely seats? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, thank you so much, thank you so much for coming. Um, so, yes, what do you want? Well, let me just tell you, before I sort of uh, introduce uh, everybody and, uh, and tell you what's going to happen tonight, I thought I would just uh, quickly, quickly start off by saying how excited and honoured, actually, uh, I am that uh, the towner uh, invited me to move the Baba Bar here. Um, very excited by that. Um, but also, I was very worried, actually, um, because it's very cultural here, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, and uh, no, it is. It really is very cultural. And the thing is, uh, I am a complete stranger when it comes to culture. In fact, I uh, uh, I know nothing about culture. Uh, that's absolutely true. I know nothing about culture. In fact, um, I'm to culture what Chewbacca is to saunas. Absolutely terrifying, essentially. Um, so uh, no, I, I I know nothing about it. But um, I, I I know about popular culture. Uh, I was always into popular culture. And so I kind of assumed that everything else was just unpopular, um, and I'd, uh, which I thought was fair enough, really. Um, but I'd, and this is honestly true. I go, I do sometimes find myself in art galleries, uh, and I wander around, but I have no idea what I'm looking at or what to look at. And I just, I know that this is a room full of artists. I just want to sort of put it out there. Could you maybe do something like they do on Facebook and Instagram for people like me? You know, so when we're looking at pictures and we don't know what we're looking at, we could, uh, you could have like a thumb. And we could sort of, people before could press it. And then someone like me comes out, I'd see how many likes the picture's got. And if it's got, you know, 17 likes, I'd go, oh, I, oh this is good, isn't it? Four likes, no, I'd probably give it a miss. 15 likes, couple of hearts, that would be good. Angry face, maybe not so much. I, would, I would go. Just, I'm just going to suggest that. But even though I know nothing about culture, um, weirdly or strangely, I do seem to, particularly in the last couple of years since I've been doing the Bar Bar Bar, I get invited to a lot of private views. Uh, and I know that there's many artists in this room and that you all have private views, but I have noticed uh, on my journey of private views, I've noticed that there are two things that private views aren't. Uh, the first is they're not private. Because <laughs> you basically want everybody to come, don't you? They're open to the public, let's face it, aren't they? And the second thing is, the second thing that they're not, is they're not views either, are they? Because no one looks at anything. Everyone stands around and drinks. So I think that what you need to do, and I'm just going to put this out, I think you need to rename them public drinks. In fact, just, just, forget that, so we just call them pubs, because that's basically what they are, isn't it? So, uh, so that's, anyway, I, I, but my kind of whole culture thing, I was thinking about this a bit earlier, and uh, wondering why I'm such a kind of uh, novice and slightly terrified of culture. And I put it down to the fact that when I was at school, my art teacher mentioned the phrase postmodernism. And that sort of freaked me out because uh, growing up in the 70s, my family, we had nothing that was remotely modern. So the idea of going somewhere where there was going to be some postmodern, that freaked me out. I used to go around to mates' houses and they, they, they had properly modern stuff in their houses. Back in the 70s, they had things like toasters. We didn't have a toaster. I, I grew up thinking that Oxfam was a department store, but just, you know, on a small scale. So, um, I, I, basically, this, uh, it, it just terrified me, really, this whole postmodernism and culture generally. So I thought, what I should do before I brought the Baba Bar to the towner is I should come to the towner and I should get some culture. So, uh, I did, I did just that. I thought, I'm going to come to the couch and get cultured up and, and find out what it's all about. Uh, so, uh, this is me <laughs> on Saturday. Uh, just this weekend, just gone, getting some culture. Um, but uh, unfortunately, uh, I did that for a while, nothing happened, still no culture. So, uh, so what I did, I thought I'll sit down and I'll see how other people get this culture. Okay, so I sat, there's a, this is in the Revillius Gallery on the first floor, I think, um, and there's a little library there. So I sat at the library and, uh, and I watched people come in and get <coughs> culture. And you're very busy here on the weekend, did you? I mean, I guess you know that. So many people getting all this culture. And they were, they were really, really on a mission. There was, they'd come in front of a picture, there was no hesitation, look at the picture, next picture, no, no discussion, it was just picture after picture. Oh, it was unbelievable. I watched all this. Still, I couldn't work out they were doing it. But then, these three guys came in, they will have beards. And I thought, that's it, isn't it? I need to grow a beard. <laughs> so, and this is absolutely true. So I, I saw them and I thought, look at them. And I, I even spoke to them. They're cultured and they've got beards. So, okay, I'll, I'll get a beard. So I went back to the library 
And then I brought it. <laughs> still no culture, okay? Absolutely still way over my head. Uh, until, and this is absolutely true, until I discovered you have a second floor, don't you? So I went upstairs. There were two more galleries there, but no, 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 no. You have a cafe. <laughs> you have a cafe, on the, which, and in that cafe, the cakes are amazing. So I've discovered culture. It's not in the it's in the cafe. It's in the Revillius, whatevs, you know, you're flat white, amazing up there. The, uh, so that was me getting culture. Um, and I realized that I know people go on about other galleries, things like, is it Tate Modern? I've never been there. But now, Tate Modern Cafe, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check it out. Obviously, it's obviously where your culture is. So, anyway, that's enough about me and my, my cultural journey. <laughs>